Hi guys, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and exciting news because I have to read a little bit from the papers what I prepared here is the quarter end comes. The second quarter end, August 1st is the big day after market is closed and I'm looking really forward to that and then we will see all of the people and then the so-called analysts and uh, is Elon Musk pulling another rabbit out of his head? That's a big question. And I guess he is. And here's the story for that. So subscribe to this channel and watch it. I pressed and say. I went and say. From the paper, what I prepared. So, how many years do I hear that Tesla will vote? go bankrupt. It's about probably 10 years or so and then they had a counter there and, and whatever and it's not never gonna happen. And I watched the company for let's say three years and then I decided to buy the Roadster. And then after the Roadster Model S and after another Model S and the Model S and then I bought the uh, Model X and then I bought uh, Model 3 and now I'm renting those cars out as you can see well, Spark rental and I just picked a Roadster which still some people like it and I like it also. I picked it up from a very nice couple who had it here, rented out and they, they took an Airbnb, a house there, I delivered it to the house, I installed it to the dryer so that they always can plug it in, plug it out and so on. So just picked it out but I had to bring, have to bring this message across. So what I'm hearing is really from those guys is all of the wishes what they have and there are the wishes from the fossil industry guy from the well-known combustion combustion car companies and all of their lobbyists so what they wish is just this was just a nightmare that company is just a nightmare for us and they pray the wake up the next morning and everything poof is gone and that's not gonna be happening. That company will stay and it will stay for a longer time because it's all calculated. And what I'm thinking is that uh, there are many people having a lot of bets for and a lot of bets against that company. And that's why you're hearing news in both directions and that's why the stock is also so volatile and goes up and down. But this time there's going to be a change and the 1st of August a lot of people will be quite surprised. All of their clever so-called analysts and all of their figures and numbers what they're calculating back and forth. The only thing what they need to do is they have to watch the head of the company as the CEO and they watch all of the people who are working in the company and what's message and vision is being prepared for that company. That makes a difference. Tesla has built since October 2012 a charging infrastructure. Since they have 11,500 chargers so fast, whereby Porsche has started with its first charger in Atlanta, about probably four units of that one, where they don't have a car for, or they could have a car for. And we come to that car charging infrastructure as well. So, and Tesla is in, in expanding and improving their charging capabilities. So when we charged uh, latest with the Model 3, when we drove back uh, from California, we charged there with practical 115 kilowatt. And I was amazed that so much power came out of those 115 kilowatt. And this is really not beaten yet in the industry. And even when people are saying, ah, yes, we can do that as well, then let me give you some practical figures for that. So, and here's the reason why those superchargers before uh, are running so good and are running so reliable. And I really had only the last six years only wait one time at the supercharger. Be before that, they were all available. And also during the last six years the capacity was always plenty 
and it was always expanding capacity, always enough capacity to charge. So what are they charging with? You are charging with 360 to 400 volt, which is uh, by about 320 amp or sometimes more. And actually with the first Model S I even charged more uh, uh, kilowatt hours. So that ends up to be between 115 or sometimes 128 kilowatt hours. So what will you get with that with the Model 3? Actually, in this case, the Model 3 is in an advantage over the other cars because of their consumption. In the Model 3, so let's say you have 115 kilowatt and divided I'm taking 255 watt per miles, this will efficiently uh, last you for 450 miles with the with the hourly charge rate of 115 kilowatt. So you're running with that for 100, 450 miles, 721 kilometers. And that's what you're charging within an hour. And if you are nicely uh, put that charge correctly, then you are charging with that high charge rate. And actually, in real, you're getting further. So let me make you that comparison because many people are asking me on their channel, oh, what's about Chatamo? What's about CCS and all of the new uh, the, the Japanese standard with that huge plug? And then the other standard from CCS, what was invented by the car industry in order to cash some uh, royalty fees on the charger because everybody is now on CCS making some money with that. Uh, power company, the guys who are c carrying the electricity through the pipes or to the cable lines, then the, uh, the guys who are pulling the charger down and the car industry as well because they, this is my new standard and because this is my new standard I want you also to pay for that because you're using that special plug. Now there are some problems with that little special plug because when you have some authorities involved in that of limiting the capacity the two DC poles there are only limit there are limited to only 200 amp for 400 volt 200 amp for 800 volt is the difference well let's calculate that out so when you calculate that out for the best one for a Chatamo charger effectively measured you get maybe 45 kilowatt out of that, which are 176 miles, 282 kilometers per hour of charge rate. So now coming to the CCS connector, the newest automotive industry best connector, what everybody should have in, in, include or everybody should implement. That new standard, which is actually not the standard what has been used in Europe. And Tesla is using that European uh, Minikin standard and uh, what's coming out of that, of that special huge plug CCS connector? There are 200 amp and that's the maximum. Let's say you are charging between 360 and 400 volt which is actually the half of that capacity uh, of 800 volt. What you're getting out of that is between 72 and 880 kilowatt. That's the same thing what you're getting out of an urban supercharger, uh, like uh, the, the supercharger what you're plugging in at the lunchtime. And that gets you 313 miles an hour or 501 kilometers. So why the hell should Tesla waste their energy and time and put another plug for CCS in there when you get less out of that? Let's do a comparison for all of them by sending the bar to Tesla on 200%. And I'm going to show you a graphic for that as well to those, two, to those chargers. So the Chatamo charger does 45 kilowatt per hour and 176 miles, uh, 282 kilometers. This is 39% of what a ch Tesla charger in standard speed can do. Let's look at the CCS charger. At 400 volt, you get maximum 80 kilowatt out of that. These are 313 miles, 501 kilometer, 69% of what a Tesla charger can do. Why should you be more satisfied 
with a third or two thirds less of the capacity. Uh, I don't understand why people are still ask me for that. So the only reason could be I have a Chatmo charger or a CCS charger in front of my door and that's for free and I get free energy and have enough time to waste to stay there and plug in. Otherwise I would plug in at night. So that is in regards to those chargers and that is why Tesla with their standards is still ahead and the other guys are just marginal. And I don't understand BMW measured with uh, a model S, what they bought, they measured it at some of the superchargers and they knew what the capacity was out there and then agree in the automotive industry on a charger which can only do with 400 volt a third less. Now to be fair to say is that Porsche, when you double the voltage on that one, you get twice as much of the capacity. So when you come to 800 volt, let's say the best of them, or practical, you get 150 kilowatt. So from the 150, 120, 250, 160 kilowatt. But then you need to have a Porsche and you're gonna pay Porsche prices with everything around it, including probably also the Porsche price for the electricity. And you have to go to a Porsche dealer on the dealer's yard, which probably the most of the yards will be secured or locked down or not available or busy or parked. Because when you go to any of the other chargers there, what I see here in the valley is that if you're going to a charger, to a level two charger, most of the cars are charged parking there are combustion cars. There are the managers parking there because it's the closest uh, parking spot in front of the building and they really don't care if their cars are being charged up or not charged up. I gave that to the guys at BMW for advice, uh, but probably they are more interested in selling their gasoline cars. So, yeah, uh, good luck when you come to Porsche and try to charge and then some other car is charged there the doors, the gates are closed and so on. Uh, that's what I'm going to see forecoming for them as well. But you pay Porsche prices. Now, upco upcoming to the real event, the second quarter results. And it's really, from my point of view, is looking great. Because they are currently only selling the premium package with the big battery. And they're making sure more money on the big battery as on the small battery and they're ramping up at the same time they get revenue in. They really, I don't think that they need more capital, even when they want to. What uh, could, could probably use some capital. Uh, what you're seeing there is, there are some people holding long and there are some people holding short. And the people like to gamble. They like to gamble in Vegas and some have their ships on red and some of their ships on black. So, and as you know, our banking industry, there are a lot of guys are gambling in the banking industry. Uh, they gamble 2008 with all of their mortgages and they do not change their behavior. They keep on gambling and that's what's going to happen. So they gamble in one or the other direction and actually it's really not their money. So if they are successful, they are rewarded. If they are not successful, well, they are not being rewarded. So it's going to be a really nice uh, fourth quarter, uh, second quarter end, coming August 1st. And sometimes I'm wondering about why these guys are behaving the way, or behaving pretty strange, who are commenting pretty strange. So there was once on Twitter a guy he was always writing only negative things about Tesla when they have achieved something what nobody else has achieved in the industry so far. And when I finally, after years, found out this guy was gambling as well. It was a big short of Tesla and probably he lost his pants and there are upcoming a lot of people losing a lot of more of their pants. Uh, by just gambling and I think you should not gamble against Elon. So and a lot of people are gambling 
against that. And what happens at the end? The bank will win. So if you're asking yourself about many people and how they made their decision, what you always have to remember is follow the money. So all of the stories come at the end to a common denominator. And the common denominator is uh, for decisions or for influencing is the behavior and actually is the money. So I'm looking really forward for a real surprising and funny quarter end like the last one was and I hope that these great analysts uh, that they do not even read the quarterly report being issued ahead of the meeting uh, that they get a nice whipping again because they are so feel so important and they ask they can ask as their great analysts their so-called uncomfortable questions sometimes repeating uncomfortable questions to Elon where they have a really tedious job of juggling numbers from, one, from the left to the right every day and have actually a quite boring job. So at one time, at the quarter end, there can be shining there and it is the quarter end five times or four times a year where they can really feel important. So let them feel important don't say anything about it you will be surprised so hi guys this is a good tip I do not actually give that good tip a lot of times and please subscribe to my channel you will get more news about Tesla you will get about sustainable future and uh, when you subscribe to the channel then the real news are heard and the real voices are heard so please Thumbs up, press the button, and talk to you the next time. Bye -bye. Hey, before I forget it, at the last two days, Monday and Tuesday, before free supercharging runs out, Tesla has extended it for another couple of days and is supposed to run out on July 31st. So if you intend to buy a Tesla Model S or Model X, please use my referral code at the end there and I will help you to get your car to get it on time and to get that car in a condition and how you are expecting it. So I'm gonna be also there at delivery if you want uh, uh, checking the car out, checking that everything runs fine and runs good. Uh, I will give you soon a story of a friend of mine who took delivery of a car but that didn't went so good so you can all avoid that, uh, take my referral code and your car comes as you wanted it. Bye bye. I press